Welcome to Open Studio W. I'm the Executive Director of WPA TV and Community Media Center, and I am in a raw version of Studio W right now. Uh, it becomes whatever the users choose to make it, a comfortable place for conversation, a means of presenting conversations with two people, a group, but essentially it's raw. We've got to build the set in order to have a show. And Open Studio W, well, like me, I wasn't planning to be on TV tonight, but you don't have to plan to be on TV anymore. If you show up sometime between 6 and 6.30 with your idea, you can be live on television by 7 o'clock. You can use the raw set like this. Um, you can ultimately use something um, that requires a green screen and place yourself in history a project that I'm going to talk to you about uses green screen uh, there's some contests involved with that and uh, it's an all ages project and we hope to see some of you use open studio for that project as well but open studio essentially is going to be wherever you make it Monday Tuesday and Wednesday evening, we will be here. Staff will be here, ready to help produce whatever you've decided you want to talk about. And that is if it hasn't already been reserved by a community project already. So if you want to have first come first serve rights, then what you do is send us a note at reserve at WPA.tv and you reserve a space on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Otherwise, you show up and we decide how to make this your space. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about Place Yourself in History, though. I had an experience in 2004 where I went to uh, learn to make a movie workshop for a week in Alabama and got to actually visit some places that were of interest to me in civil rights history. And that is where I um, was exposed to green screen for the first time and uh, we're going to roll a 11 second clip that shows you my first experience with green screen and civil rights place yourself in history kind of project can you see yourself here here or here or maybe here or here with that clip you can see that you can put yourself into an image in a number of ways uh, and that's part of the exploration that you will do with your own uh, development of your green screen project uh, for Place Yourself in History. You can place yourself in history from any perspective you choose. We are not choosing how you look at history um, but the contest requires that you also construct a essay which we have a short template that you can follow uh, and you would do a voiceover to record that and what you will do is then go through the steps of making your image and we also want to explore a little bit of how to do it with video so we're going to show you some final results of what a place yourself in history image looks like from the youth program here that's held in the summer that's actually one where they were singing this one became part of a future film in which Ben won awards. Uh, the, making yourself in color in a black and white gives a little bit more of an interesting, intriguing aspect to the project. So you can see history here in the making, and each of these youth have actually written essays related to why they pick these images and um, what it meant to them. Uh, as they evaluated you know what it would be like if they had been in that moment of time so this is a community project it's all ages we'd like you to participate in place yourself in history and uh, we hope to have enough participants to be able to identify our favorites in our uplifting community voices on Martin Luther King Day um, if the community doesn't rally 
around this project. Uh, we may extend it, but that is our current goal, is to have enough participation. So you can come in next Monday. Uh, next Tuesday is a little busy, because it, it does have a reservation. Uh, but next Wednesday and next Monday are open for your explore, exploration. We have a page on the website. You can do parts of it at home. You can find your image. You can bring it to us. Or you can look at images that we've suggested on the website. So a community project that can be used and done within Open Studio W. But Open Studio W is an all year round project where if something isn't already scheduled to be happening here, um, and you find out, you show up. And if we are open, you can decide how you're going to use this space at 7 o'clock. And we will be able to go live on Facebook, as I am right now. We'll be able to go live on TV, if that is what you choose to do. These two things are new. The ability to walk in the door and get access to resources is not new. To get access to resources and produce something within, a f within the hour is new. And to be able to go to live TV or to Facebook Live is also new. So no longer an excuse for any of you out there in potentially TV land. Um, you can raise your voice, share your experience, your knowledge, use the space in any way you choose. Another way to use our resources is to start with your resources. Everyone seems to have one of these. And if you actually take video in this mode, it's preferable, but we can make use of video this way. But if you capture a story or an opinion or a moment in time that's happening somewhere in Wallingford, uh, as long as it's not commercial, as not, long as you're not saying buy from us or on sale here, you can send it to us at movie at wpa.tv and we will take your image and put it together with other submissions that we will play at 5 o'clock on WPA TV. And we'll continue to play that story if it has value beyond that day um, in the local at 5 stream. So you can be part of the community aggregated news and stories of Wallingford, local at 5, starting with your camera sending it to us at movie at WPA.TV. So that's what's new at WPA TV this year. We're here for you. We don't exist unless you are part of what we do. You are us. Please join us. Make TV, watch TV, be more than TV with us here at WPA TV. Thank you for checking in tonight. What do you say?